passed the logos and a lot of the introductions because we felt that the most honest way to bring the game to you today was to start from the very beginning. So with that, let's play some Borderlands 3. Hey, you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4PTP steward bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders. What's your name? Amara. Thanks. I'll pre-order your tombstone just in case. Now, those jerks who tried to murder you are the children of the vault, a bandit cult who followed their creepy leaders with blind devotion. Which reminds me, if you're going to obey my every beck and call, you'll need an echo device. Try it out. I rinsed it off myself. <laughs> The Echo 3. Slightly more powerful than the Echo 2, and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 had a tiny issue with spontaneous combustion, so they rebranded those as grenades. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over our Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit, to glory! <laughs> So Lilith's ordered us to take over the recruitment center of the Children of the Vault. In the introduction that we skipped, you would learn that the Children of the Vault is a new cult that's emerged on Pandora. Siren Lilith and the Crimson Raiders are recruiting new Vault Hunters. That's you, that's us. And we are to investigate the Children of the Vault cult and discover who their mysterious leaders are. Before we wreak our righteous vengeance, you'll need to register your echo at this quick change. Once we defeat the cult, I'll be famous. And when I'm signing autographs, I need you looking sharp while defending me from my legions of fans slash stalkers. All right, now as you can see here, we're playing as Amara, and she's a powerful siren warrior. And like Claptrap mentioned, we're in the quick change where it's up to you how you want your character to look. So you can change Amara and change her emotes, obviously. <laughs> okay. All right, let's keep playing for now, guys. A uh, user agreement? Boring. Don't worry, corporations have our best interests at heart. Except dogs. And Hyperion. And Nimble. The propaganda center is this way. Locked gate? No! This can't be happening! The entire mission is ruined! Think, Claptrap, think! You're brave and powerful, and people always do what you tell them to! That's it! Recruit, get that gate open! That's an order from your superior officer! So obviously, you're getting a glimpse here on how we use the beginning of the game to make sure players are up to speed on how first-person video games work. We can validate that players understand how to navigate the environment and interact with it. You did it! Best recruit ever! Adoki Kaki. We'll even be able to know that a player's learned how to crouch and how to slide. You gotta make sure you can jump. And if you miss, that you can mantle up and climb the higher ledges. Center is up ahead. Those cultists have been killing Crimson Raiders left and right. They totally suck skagballs. But I've got a foolproof plan to kick their culty asses. So as with most games, we're using the beginning to make sure that we teach the fundamentals. We're also setting the tone of the game, right? Just like our unique art style, we want people to feel right away what we believe helps to make Borderlands special, a style of writing that's both irreverent and genuine. I hit a weapons cache nearby. Stay quiet and follow my every move. It's stealth time! Complete our mission, Lilith has to promote me to 
super general. Stand back! So we're throwing stealth out the window? Relax! On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. <laughs> now take your gun, recruit. You're gonna need it. These guns, like myself, aren't beholden to their primary function. I can dance and sing! And some guns now include an alternate shooting mode. Try it out! Follow me, recruit! All right, so as Claptrap just mentioned, in order to stay competitive, some of our gun manufacturers have added alternate firing modes. And if we look here, we can see that we have a Vladoff pistol. And if we just fire regularly, we just fire bullets. But if we switch our alternate firing modes, we fire off micro-missiles. Now, later in the game, you'll find guns that can switch between ice bullets and fire bullets. Or you might find guns that have a chain gun on top, but when you switch firing modes, it'll shoot out grenades. It gets pretty crazy, and then players who maximize all firing modes will have like twice the guns available than they had to start with. Wait here. I'll talk my way in, become their king, and then you'll surprise slaughter them in cold blood. Watch and learn, recruit. Hello? Anyone there? This is Shen. All the influence are on the children of the vault. What do you want, Crabot? Hello? Bloodthirsty Maniac, it is I, Claptrap, Slayer of the Destroyer, and Super General of the Crimson Raiders. We have you completely surrounded. Open the gates now, and perhaps I will be merciful. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me think about that. They might call themselves Children of the Vault, but they're still bandits, and bandits are incredibly stupid. Okay, we're going to surrender. Please don't kill us, Crabot. That's what I thought! Open the doors immediately for your new king! Easy! Easy! I'm, uh, I'm coming out! Just wait right there! We did it! I did it! Another victory for the Crimson Raiders! Hey, I feel funny. What's happening to me? See the degrading cover? Oh. Oh. Borderlands 3 is rated M for mature, right? <laughs> see if we can find some loot. I saw, over near that door, I saw a red chest. It looks like a trunk of a car. What do we got here? What else is there? Oh, that's interesting. All right, so we can see that this weapon has high accuracy, higher handling. Let's look at the other one. All right, and this weapon has higher damage and a higher reload time. So it's either finesse or brute force in this case. So what do you guys think? Should we uh, shoot from the hip or should we go with that badass scope? <laughs> I, think, I think you guys said scope, but I heard some, you know what? Take both of them. We'll try the scope and then we'll switch. <laughs> oh, that's pretty badass. These are like level one guns too. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, we need a shield. This is an area mission, so if we look around, we should be able to find some somewhere. <laughs> Not in the stack pile. Daquan, you on this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that looks promising. Oh, there we go, 77. 105, that's better. Take that one. You got it! Now you're invincible! Not really, but it just might keep Chip from killing you in one hit. Now let's get you in there, recruit! Hey, Chip! All your dumb friends are dead! I challenge you to a trial by combat! But because I'm stuck in this nugget, my loyal champion shall vanquish you in my stead! Come on in, heretic! I haven't met my sacrifice quota for the day! So I know you guys are getting ahead of me. You can know what's coming next. This is, uh, this is our first mini-boss fight. Daquan, you ready? We're flying without a net here, no god mode, so let's do it. <laughs> game's dynamic, so it's like different every time they play it. That was like the best kill ever. I'm glad you guys got to see that. Oh, look at that. Recruit, are you dead? If not, get me down. The controls are on the second floor. Now you'll notice that Daquan picked up the shotgun that Shiv dropped. We think it's really important that your moment of victory should be have a subsequent reward to it right at that moment. So of course, you can pick up gear right away. All right, dude. Daquan has the same affliction I have where you have to open every single freaking chest. Uh, this is a demo we can just, yeah, all right. <laughs> it's so tempting, those green lights. <laughs> oh, he claptrap's nagging at us already. So. It's not a Borderlands game, of course, unless Claptrap jumps between being needy and bossy and just pathetic. I don't know how you guys feel about him, but I still kind of love Claptrap, so let's help him out. Oh. In Borderlands 3, you can revive NPCs, and NPCs can revive you. Let's help out Claptrap. Focus. Stronghold, so this will have to do for now. 
So what's your name, killer? I am Amara. Nice tattoo, Siren Sister. You must be the voice in my head. Yeah, about that. Not the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. We might not have the numbers, but with a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Hey, do you hear bloodthirsty screaming? More CLV. Let's see what you got, recruit. skip ahead for a minute, but I want you to consider what we've learned so far. You're a new vault hunter, and you've just joined Lilith and the Crimson Raiders. Our enemies on Pandora are a fanatical cult called the Children of the Vault. And from here, you and Lilith will fight side by side to capture their recruitment center, where Lilith believes that she can recover a key that will lead her to find vaults on other worlds. 